Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here at Poet's Cinema. It's actually the third time I've attempted to uh, do this intro today. Last time I seemed to accidentally make the game think I triggered the uh, the scene over there, the uh, the echo scene, without me actually doing it. Right, so I guess I walked really close to the dark orb, and subtitles started appearing. So that was weird. Hitch. That's a great start. Uh, I... I can't remember if I got around to mentioning two pieces of, uh, well, news I thought were important. So I wanted to share those. One of them was, uh... Well, one of them was the fact that, uh, our boy Alan here has been added as a survivor to... Uh, Dead by Daylight, that's an important one. That was during my break. You know, we won't be able to use guns or anything, but, uh... I do like the promotional tagline, from one dark place to another. I was kind of hoping they would add Scratch as a killer, because that would be really funny. Not just for the, you know, conf obvious confusion there, but because, uh... Well, you could have some really cool ideas with Mr. Scratch, like just scattered typewriters around the level, and whenever Scratch uses one, the layout of the level changes. That would really fuck with the survivors. The other thing I wanted to mention is that my uh, YouTube account is at 3,000 subscribers, and I feel really good about that. Nice big round number. So thank you for making that possible, guys. Shout out to Justin Jones, who says, The idea of Alan becoming a fictional character is kind of terrifying. This kind of reminds me of the movie In the Mouth of Madness, where a writer has more control over reality than he really ought to. Something else occurred to me just now. Even if nothing that Alan encounters in the dark place is real, his intent still matters. Put differently, if that bit where the actor begging for his life isn't real, if the actor isn't real... Alan being willing to kill him still is. Intention is probably more important than reality in the Dark Place. Sorry, I've been reading The End and The Death, Volume 3, and all of the metaphysical shit going on in that story is affecting me. I'm not familiar with that. Yeah, that was messed up when I realized, oh no, this is just a story. It will not continue until I do the thing. Actually, yeah, I got a comment here on that exact thing. Shout out to Elthwar, who says, As bad as the ritual to go forward was, I like how the darkness did the But thou must as an absolutely inescapable situation. Many horror stories have bad... Oh, it's doing it again. God damn it. Many horror stories have bad communication as uh, an element. But the dark presence is one of the few to really ensure that the heroes will have trouble working together directly. It's almost like it's playing them against each other, huh? The only action you can take against the Dark Presence is to run, as fast as you can. That's a hell of a loading screen tip, Jesus Christ. Shout out to Faye Otter, who says, Remember, constantly concentrate on unbelieving the non-impertinent anti- Jesus. The non-impertinent anti- Remember, constantly concentrate on unbelieving the non-impermanent anti-existence, and you will be fine. Jump cut inserted for comedic purposes. I really only needed one more take. Unless I forgot to insert the jump cut, in which case, don't mind me, I'm just losing my mind. Uh, right! Let's just trigger this damn scene this time. Ah! Fuck, the way the light reflects directly off the case in front of me was blinding. Kind of a funny thing to happen here, of all things. Word. Word. There wasn't enough alcohol in this city to drown the memories of this nightmare, but I'd damn well try. This case would never be closed. I had more questions now than at the start. The irony of being trapped in a postmodern detective story. I felt watched. The eyes of some unseen audience on me. I wanted to turn to the hidden camera and tell them to fuck off. But I didn't know where to look to break the fourth wall. There would always be another case for Casey. 
a million stories in this dark city. The night opened up to welcome me. I walked into her arms. Roll credits. I really like the way with the flashlight off that Hallen kind of hunches over as he's staring into the dark. Like he's just afraid all the time. You see that? I just get the flashlight and he stands up a bit straighter. That's actually a really nice touch. Here's something I noticed on the f second attempt at doing that intro. Okay, okay, so I saw this over here. This uh, word of something that I already got on the wall up here. And I thought, my god, it's what the one in the bathroom was pointing at. They were being clever about it. And then I went down here. And then I remembered, oh shit, wait, on this side it isn't the bathrooms, it's the break room. Wait, those weren't even the same subtitles I just suddenly realized. That was the scene with Yako. Why am I, why am I hearing about y Oh. Oh my god, I just caught what that was. Those are the subtitles from fucking Yotan Yo. Yeah, that was what we did last time, we watched Yotan Yo. Jesus, that was creepy. I was running through here in the dark, and I thought there was a dude sitting in one of these chairs. I was, like, convinced. Like, now, hang on. That guy wasn't there a second ago. Ilma would never do that to Yako. Yeah, this arrow here, but it's pointing down is the other thing. Was it this? Is this what it was pointing at? This uh, suitcase back here? Is there a word in here somewhere? Well, it has a 20% uh, chance of not firing. Damn. Piss. Wait. No, no, I misremembered. Thought for a moment there was, there was a urinal in the women's room, but no. So if the arrow is pointing down... And there is still that on the map. It is over the shoebox. Yeah, okay, this circle is about that word upstairs, then. And what the fuck is that arrow pointing at? And where's this? Oh, wait, I think I got that one. That was in one of the other ones, wasn't it? Uh, clip of the lost film. One. I guess we need to head back out to the Parliament building. Uh, the Parliament Tower, rather. Parliament building is the capital of Canada. Um... Fake New York, not, you know, fake Ottawa. Is there not a way in there? I can't remember. Did I do that right the first time? Like, I switch this back to Clip of the Lost film, and this opens up, and I just walk in there and close it behind me. I tried it once, and it didn't work, but was I just standing in the wrong spot for that? Here I am, right up against the wall, and here I am, opening the damn map again. No! Moved me back before it did that. Well played! Alright, fine. You win. Left is nothing. Odd. Oh no, I think it was that one upstairs or what? I don't know. It's all 
very confusing. Oh, uh, I'm very torn, Burning Dog fans. Do I try to look for more stuff in the other places? You know, the hotel and the, uh, the studio, or... Do I just go for it? Part 1. Oh! Okay, it's given me videotapes of Yotan Yo broken up into eight parts. Oh, man, I could have done it this way. I guess sort of spliced them all together with a full screen view. A lot of vowels in Finnish. Oh, boy. This one's have a bunch of them. Why is it in eight parts, though? I like the touch of having the taxi parked right in front of the theater, but no one's manning it. Oh, right. The just casual distortions along the edges of my vision. That's nothing new. That's nothing new either. Posters for the Dark Place art me to exhibit. Maybe I'm heading this way. Maybe I should check. Oh, look at that. I'll be passing it on the way back. Oh, God. Um... Okay. What do we got? We got the, the hotel, which was fucking crazy. Oh. Started the ominous music yet, though. Kind of reminds me of some of the fucking noises arch vials would make in Doom 2. Or I think it was meant to sound vaguely like Latin, but I'm pretty sure it was just reversed. Darp sob, no job. It just comes out as gibberish. I hear them. Oh, there they are. Okay, maybe not. Lock, do not run. Do not run. I want you to consider for a second. You're here. You're alone. You're afraid all the time. You haven't slept in 13 years. You haven't eaten in 13 years. You haven't drank in 13 years. Because you don't need to. So you've just been this. For 13 years, you've been afraid that whole time. I want you to consider exactly how difficult it would be to resist the urge to run the fuck away from something which you not only know is very dangerous to you, but which has murdered you on more than one occasion you can remember. He is having to use every ounce of his self-control. That's a bad sound. Choke on his words. Okay, that one saw me. How fucking dare you! I'll be the storyteller here. problem with fighting them, it draws more attention. And there's a statue of me. The phone was ringing again. 
Somehow I sensed it wasn't Zane this time. Probably because you shot him in the face and he doesn't want to work with you anymore, even if he did somehow survive. They're everywhere. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, hell. I'm gonna go stand under that. Load, load, load. them anymore. That, that courtyard was full of them, and now it looks empty. Are they literally invisible when I'm in the light? If the Taken can't see you when you're in the dark? Oh, God. Wait, I can, you can't come over here. Not dissolving. I mean, I didn't want to burn a charge on him or anything. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go back into the light, and I'm just gonna take some pills. Hey, there's a thought. You know, it'd be a great mechanic if you could take antipsychotics and make all the monsters disappear for a few minutes. Don't run. Don't run. See, I'm just impatient. statue had been replaced oh. by a statue of Alice. The thought sickened me. Her life threatened by Scratch. I had to hurry. What's she holding in her hand a camera? It... I just wanted to show the world what I see. Alice Wake. Yeah, no kidding. That's what I called the first episode. Okay, where the fuck was it? It was, uh... I don't remember where the phone was. I just have to follow the sound, like a plebeian. No one in this walkway. I will say though, it's kind of, it's actually kind of neat that I have experienced the horror thing personally, where I walk down like into a big open area. Huh? There's no one here. Then I see like one guy, and then I turn around because I hear another guy, and there's like five behind me. And when I turn around again, there's like ten back of the way I was looking the first time. It's, oh no, they're just everywhere right now. Hello? He hesitated. Hello? Hello. Oh, it no. It wasn't Zane. It wasn't Scratch, either. Huh? You're me? Me? I don't understand. There's a lot I don't understand. A dark place operates in loops. Time is a story. I'm calling you from a different point in that story. From the future? I'm never getting out of here, am I? Yes, you will. And no, you won't. What? And that is by your own choice. What does that mean? I'm sorry for what you'll have to go through. No. You need to go back to the talk show studio basement. Get Alice's photos from a shoebox there. Before you can go to Parliament Tower, you must put the photos into the shoebox at her statue at the plaza. To help you, to help Alice, to help Saga Anderson. I'm my own deus ex machina? Really? You will understand, and you will never get out of here. How many writers does it take to finish a story? One for each draft. It's the same writer, but in a different point in time. I follow the steps he laid out for me. Alice's photo from the talk show building basement. I had to go back to get them. I bring the photos to the shoebox by the statue. Kill Alan. That's what's gonna fucking happen, isn't it? I'm gonna walk into the into the Parliament Tower, and it's going to switch control over to Saga and Here's the 
here's the TV room. Good thing the phone was right there. Wasn't there? Oh, of course. Right, yes. I barely even remember a basement in the talk show. I guess that's where I am now. Uh, put the photos in the talk show basement inside the shoebox at the plaza. I need to find a bunch. I do remember that. Didn't it, Saga needed uh, the photos. Why? To create an overlap, I guess. Or did I need the photos? Well, I guess I'm not going up. Did No, there's already a door down there. I thought it added a way down there. I'll switch it over anyway and see if that makes it easier to get down there. I wonder how many charges the angel lamp can even hold. I've got four now. Oh. Is this already here? <laughs> oh, fuck. Now I remember. It's horrible down here. Cigarettes, a muffin. A lot of these places really look like someone just left them. Like someone just stepped away. Like all of Noir York City is its own Mary Celeste. I think someone made that comparison last time. Just something else, wasn't it? Oh! I thought it was going to be the door we're getting uncovered, but no, there's just no fence here. It's still flooded. Didn't that change last time? I really enjoy them bringing back the fucking reference to the Harry Garrett show, by the way. Just a sort of nod for people who played the first one. Although, you know, I genuinely don't know that it would be a good idea to play this game without having played some version of Alan Wake 1. Like, really. Frame deer head, like they're making a float down here. Oh, I got turned around. I think. A lot of mannequins down here. For some reason, this makes more sense than in the movie theater, but then I guess they make TV here as opposed to just displaying movies, so that does kind of make more sense. You know, holding costumes and such. The water, not so much. I'm sure it's just the dark presence being funny. Well, I'm Burning Dog Face, and somewhere in this mess are uh, photos from Alan's wife, and we need to find them, bring them to that uh, box. out the rest of Alan's role in this story. Until then, wish me luck. You know, roll up your pants. And stay in the light.